Keith, it's great to see you back. I know you've been through an awful lot as a family. Was it the right time to come back though and, and, and play some football? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, when my mum passed away, I did, I did think about coming back a bit sooner than I'd, I did, but it was important for me to stay home with the family and then um, I came back just before the, the time we had a few days off, so I wanted to be involved in that reserves game to get a few minutes in my belt and then hopefully, like I did, play in the Wigan game, which I was made up to be back for. I know the club's been right behind you, and rightly so, behind your family and, and, and your mum right from the start of, the, of this thing, and I know you felt that during the past uh, month or two months or so. Not even that. The last six, seven months, the support we've had as a family from everyone, Sharon, the board, the gaffer, the staff, the players and the fans as well has been incredible. Everyone a part of this football club, and I can't honestly thank them enough. Um, us as a family, it, it really touched us to see the the staff and the players and Sharon to to come down to the funeral. Um, seeing everyone there really touched us, and yeah, I just want to come back now and repay the club and thank them for everything that they've done. First and foremost, you're a footballer, you're a vice-captain of this club, very important, but has this almost further cemented your relationship with the club and, I, and you've always felt you're at the right place, but does that feel so even more? No, definitely, yeah. Like I said, when I first signed here, it was a proud moment for me and through everything I've gone with, with things at home, the club have been so supportive and I just want to thank them so much and I, I really feel like I'm at home here and I love the club, I love the fans, um, so I just want to repay them. Just lastly on, on this, Geth, because I know the fans would like to hear this as the fans have been right behind you. So how is the family? I know it's, it's been so difficult for you all. Yeah, no, it was difficult, um, but everyone's as well as can be. Thank you. Um, me brother's gone back up north to work now. Um, and now there's my little sister, my dad back home. Um, dad's obviously still in a boot at the moment with his ankle injury, but he's healing quite well. So hopefully he can get back to work soon. And then, yeah, no, we're all good. Thank you. I know the fans are delighted to see you back on the pitch on Saturday, as we all were. Great game to come back in and, and a great way to finish the game. It feels finished on a real positive note, didn't it? Yeah, it finished very positive. We had a meeting this morning. We were quite disappointed with the first 30, 35 minutes. Um, and we've had a big chat on why it happened and so-so. But um, we've learned from it now and hopefully it won't happen again. But obviously the second half, we dominated the game and we just feel like if the game went on for another five minutes, we would have... We would have got all three points, but it wasn't to be. But yeah, we can build on that now, and we've got another six games to concentrate on. Was the flip side is some sides might have gone under after that stop, but you stayed in the game, and it was a super goal to uh, to get at least a deserved point. That was the biggest positive thing that we've got to never see that attitude, um, and we showed it a lot of times this year. Where when we have gone down, we react like straight away, and that's what we did on Saturday. I think the last time, ten minutes in the first half, we showed that we started playing, we started maintaining the ball in their half and yeah so if we can keep doing that from minute one um, I don't feel like we'll have any problems in the near future and then hopefully we can finish further up the table. Back home two big games this week Pompey of course first on Tuesday night looking forward to being back here it feels a while and it has been a while for yourself. Yeah it's been a while yeah and I'm excited to see everyone again I did come up um, for the Plymouth game to come and support the lads because it was such a big game but um, yeah, it'll be it'll be good to be back there on the pitch, and it'll be a very tough game. They're in the same kind of position as us, hoping to maybe get in the playoffs. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for the game. Seems incredible the run you've been on since January. They'd be barely able to get into that top ten. It's so competitive. The points are so hard fought. But if you win tomorrow night, you're into the top ten, and, and that's going to be the least you, de you deserve the way you played in the second half of the season. No, definitely. Um, yeah, like I said, if we concentrate on ourselves, win every game, then. We never know what can happen from now to the end of the season. But yeah, it'll be a competitive game tomorrow night, as will Saturday against Chef Wednesday. But it'll be a big week for us to, to hopefully see where we, we where we can be towards the end of the season. You're one of the longest serving players now, which seems quite remarkable. That's how football works. But you feel this squad looks pretty strong now, as you say, if it can't be this season. Going forward must be an awful lot of optimism. Oh, definitely. And like I said, we're not just going to, if we don't make the playoffs, we're not just going to think, oh, that's our season over. We've still got a lot of things to work on. The squad's very strong now. Um, and then obviously if we keep working hard from now to the end of the season and implement, implement into games and what we want to work on, um, I don't see why, if it does, if it's not this year, why we can't finish in the, in the top of the table next year. And I know a lot of the, the players have remarked on it, the number of season tickets sold for last year, that it's, it's not going to notice. Has it 12,500, 12, already? That must give you a lot to look forward to and, and know everybody's in this together. It's unbelievable. We, we keep speaking about it every day in the change rooms. Like, 
I don't know what the numbers are now, but I think last week it was over 12,000, wasn't it? 12,000, they got two. Right, it's unbelievable. And it just shows the whole, everything about this club. It's a big family club and obviously we're doing something right on the pitch for the fans to come and support us every game. So that's what we want to do. We want to play attractive football, attacking football. Um, and if we keep working hard, then hopefully there'll be many more fans to come. Just last again, I think you deserve a rest. You've been through an awful lot, but with a bit of injury and then your family, do you almost not want this season to end or are you ready to just maybe get a bit of a breather and a regroup ready to go again? I love football, so it's one of them where when I'm away from football, I have two, three weeks off and I think I'm ready to go back. So, no, but um, it's been nice to have a little time off, um, obviously to be with the family and stuff with everything that's going on, but... I'm looking forward for the last six games now and then see where we finish at the end of the season and take it from there.